Hi guys, recipe of the day today is soya chunks curry. It's easy to make, it's delicious, it's healthy. We also call it aloo soya. So for this recipe, I'm using textured soya chunks from MDH. You can use any brand of your choice and soya chunks are easily available in Indian grocery stores as well as big supermarkets. We are going to soak soya chunks in water for about 10 minutes before cooking. They will puff up a little bit set them aside and work on your masala so for masala grind three four cloves of garlic with some ginger and one large onion and a little bit of water to make a smooth onion paste so this is the consistency that you desire so onion ginger and garlic blend it together to form this onion paste and we'll also wash peel and chop two to three large potatoes set your potatoes aside and when you are ready to cook Heat two to three tablespoons of oil in a pressure cooker. I'm using peanut oil. You can use any oil of your choice. Add in cumin seeds in this hot oil. Fry seeds for about 30 seconds and then add in your onion paste. You can also use pot to make the curry but pressure cooker just makes the job so much more faster and easier without compromising the taste. Now in our onion paste we are adding salt, should be as per your taste, turmeric that's haldi and red chili powder for some heat, a little kick. Mix these spices in well together and then cover your pressure cooker. Don't close the lid, just cover it and allow this onion paste to cook a little bit. And you will realize this curry is going to be so tasty just based on the aroma from this onion paste so after four five minutes add in potatoes that we had diced and soya chunks so squeeze the water out of soya chunks before adding them in we are mixing them in squeezing the water once we have added all these soya chunks in then we'll add in tomato puree so thoroughly mix soya potatoes so that they are fully coated with the masala blend three to four tomatoes in a magic bullet in your blender and add them in so tomato puree lends a nice flavor to our curry you can also use tomato paste tomato puree is simply three to four tomatoes blended with a little bit of water again thoroughly mixing all the ingredients will cover our cooker again so not closing it just covering it so that tomatoes cook a little bit when you are ready to go ahead and finish off the dish when you are ready to close the cooker then you will add your masalas so we'll add in curry powder and garam masala which are blend of different indian spices so one teaspoon of curry powder one teaspoon of garam masala you can use any brand or you can make your own masalas at home adding water depending on how thick or thin you want your curry one to two cups and dried fenugreek leaves also called kasuri methi so i had some fresh kasuri methi in my garden i just dried it and that's what i have added it added in you can also use store-bought kasuri methi cover the pressure cooker let it cook after about two whistles your dish would be done allow the cooker to cool down then you open the pressure cooker and this is what you'll get and we'll finish off our dish with fresh chopped coriander leaves or cilantro and you can enjoy this dish with roti with chapati with parantha naan as a side with rice and keep watching et student channel for more exciting recipes